So I've pre-cooked my potatoes here. It's a little brown, but it's not cooked all the way through. And I have my shark here also. I'm going to cut my shark up into smaller pieces. Bing! Bang! Shark! <laughs> so I added some seasoning puree into my shark. A little seasoning salt. Some black pepper. Some curry powder here. I'm going to just let all those flavors marinate into the shark. Leave it there to sit for a little bit. Then I have some tomatoes and some onions that I have cut up. I'm going to saute these here. These is going to saute wonderful into this pan here. This is the same pan I use for my potatoes. So what I did, I pour off some of the oil. And I'm now going to let my tomatoes and onions saute into this pan here. I'm also going to pour in about one teaspoon of jeera and the jeera is going to cook great and it's going to go great with the curry this is going to give the curry an extra kick an extra flavor you know flavor is always good then also you want to add some garlic into this i'm going to add minced garlic into the mix here and let the garlic cook alongside the other stuff in the in the pot a little curry powder. I'm gonna let that thicken. Yeah, yeah. I'm now gonna put in the rest of my potatoes, and the potatoes are gonna marinate, soak up all the, those curry flavors and all the other flavor. Then I'm gonna put my shark in. As you notice, I put the shark on one side and the greens on the other side because I want the oil to cook that okay mix everything together pour in some green onions give that a, a stir and then at this point here is when you want to pour your water okay you want to pour some water in there let it mix yeah stir it up stir stir it up 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 and that's going to come to a boil. In about 10 minutes, this should be finished. Or you want to make sure the potato is soft. Okay? Once the potato is soft and the fish is cooked, it should be finished in about 10 minutes. So, this is what you want your curry to look like when it's finished. If you want it a little, a little more thick, you could wait another 2 minutes. But a lot of times when you turn off the fire, the curry is going to get thicker. So I'm going to eat my curry with some roti that I had made earlier. So enjoy and join me for the next episode.